Why, hello there, friends, and welcome to Alcana. Four rhythms across the blue. This has been a long-awaited visual novel, actually, from many a people in the community. Now, me, I kept my eye on it. But there's one thing about this one <laughs> that is norm- that is- that is- Slightly different than uh, than usual, with me at least. This one, I barely know anything about it. <laughs> All I know is, I'm probably going to love it. <laughs> so, I know a little, like a little bit. Okay, so I'm, this is me jumping in fully blind, whereas normally I jump in like, oh, I've, 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 like, read the synopsis, right? <laughs> but, I heard this one's pretty good. I've re ever, ever since hearing that, I was like, no, I want to I wanna keep this all secret for me. But, yeah, it's uh, developed by Sprite, which, by the way, looking up uh, the, <laughs> the H patch or the 18 plus patch for the game, kind of, uh, like, <laughs> messed with my head because it said Sprite under the Neko Nyan uh, site and I was like wait is that sprites only or no it's the developer and well publisher is Neko Nyan my fa one of my favorite visual novel publishers of all time now <gasps> so yeah let's jump in I have no idea about the sound quality either or the sound settings right now it could be too quiet could be too loud because in this system I can't like actually <laughs> just to see if anything like the voices the movies like nothing i i, I don't know <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a sit wait a minute i saw a voice hold on are you kidding me wait what <laughs> son of a bitch all right well let's just hop in should be fun uh oh, oh wings of courage piano oh that's probably the hello <laughs> we're gonna there we go okay Hold on, before we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, shh, look, I'm getting used to this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do this, uh, we're gonna bring this down, mm-hmm, we're gonna bring this all the way up, uh, we're, g we're doing this on the fly, alright? Don't even, don't even, don't, don't, look, look, it, 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 hold on, I, I'll also need you to repeat yourself, little missy. Here we go. Let's just... <laughs> Can, is there a repeat button? Son of a bitch. Dude. Wait a minute. I don't know what these buttons mean. I'll just... I'll keep going as I go. Ah. Perfect. Oh, 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 hold on. Let's... Yeah, I don't want tears already. What's going on? Hold on. I don't want to be sad. Hmm? Come back. Oh, oh Jesus. Just... Oh. What am I looking Oh. It's a little... look like a figure. She's gonna hold you to that, buddy. That's why I'm not going to 
That's adorable. I hope that works. Oh. Is that a thing? There we go. Made her happy. Oh no. No! Don't leave! Oh. Well, when I was a kid, I thought myself invincible. I was certain I could become whatever I wanted. Go wherever I pleased. And always come out on top, regardless of the opponent. I could see a world of infinite possibilities spread out before me whenever I wanted. All I had to do was reach out my hand toward the sky. Very inspirational. I don't know, is there going to be a but? <laughs> in the summer of my third year in elementary school. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I acquired wings that let me soar through the sky. Holy shit! That's what we're doing, huh? <laughs> I like it. Oh, and they look pretty cool, too. Hold on. Look, look at these little... Oh. And with that, I'd made it to those parts of the sky my hand couldn't reach. Damn, that's... Oh. I eagerly dash forward, gliding through the air, advancing further and further. <laughs> oh. Back then... I had doubts in my mind. I was sure there was no one who could reach the same... Or had... I had no doubts. Man. <laughs> I was sure there was no one who could reach the same heights as me. Uh, with these, I can go anywhere. <laughs> I could be the first to travel beyond the sky. Uh, I sincerely believe that. Oh, no. Oh, God. Uh-huh. And as a result... I lost all faith in myself when my beliefs were overturned. What? You ch I will end you. Uh, it all happened because someone appeared in a space I thought my own. I And in that moment, the place beyond the sky that I dreamed of reaching disappeared from my mind. Oh my god. <laughs> I no longer had any right to lay claim to the sky. She... The blue world that I envisioned beyond the sky was taken from me. I desperately reached out with my hand. But when I opened that hand, nothing was there. Oh my god, and so I turned my back on the sky. No, you can't! The dreams! God damn it, we need those dreams. Episode 1, teach me how to fly. Alright, I'm, I'm in. I'm already in. <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm charging down the road to school at full speed. Can't afford to be late. D Damn. Hope I can still make it. Oh, jeez. Oh, I pulled out my phone out of my pocket to quickly check the time. 8.10. Aw, oh, man, I'm cutting it real close. The clock is ticking down to my doom and fast. And so, I stow away the harbinger of apocalypse. Then bolt forward as fast as I can. Damn it, this is all because I had that dream again. Whenever I feel out of it or when I'm tired, I always see the same dream. A scenery drawn in Sepia. And it was a blurry world that made me think I was viewing the scene with an odd filter. That was us! <laughs> if all those dreams did let me see a girl I liked as a kid, then that would have been fine. Too bad that's not the case. I keep running down the road, and eventually I come across a strange sight. What? What's that girl doing? Aw, oh, jeez. What? 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 Excuse me. <laughs> I spot a single girl crawling about on all fours on the side of the road. Oh, pro dropped your key, huh? Oh, I'm sure we've all been there. <laughs> she cheerfully is monologuing such specific things to herself that it makes me wonder if she's doing it on purpose. 
Anywho, based on what I overheard, she seems to be in a lot of trouble. So why does she sound so happy? Maybe she's just genuinely happy. <laughs> We're in the same boat. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I, I will. I will call out to her, talk to her, or worry about her. <laughs> I will worry about her. It's just like I fucking leave. <laughs> and I just well, I hope she's okay. Uh, to call out to her what to, or talk to her the shit calling out to her what what wouldn't they boy both the same thing what would i do i'd probably reach like walk up to her and just talk to her you know there's one thing a lot of fairy tales tend to have in common in them the hero always extends a helping hand out to a girl in need even if that means having to fight a dragon or save the world uh what's what's wrong <laughs> and so, in an attempt to li live up to those standards, I approach the girl and call out to her. Uh, hopefully I don't frighten her. Oh, uh, nope. Uh, hi. Okay, not too much of a frightening. <laughs> the girl rises from her crawling position and snaps to attention as she responds to me. Hello, I'm here to help. Na <gasps> <laughs> the moment I see her face, my breath gets caught in my throat. She's standing there wide-eyed. An inquisitive look on her face. Let's give her some pets, preemptively. She's cute. Really, really cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm making this awkward. Just, just, a, just a smidgen. Her voice makes me return to my senses. Oh, well, well uh, it seemed like you could use a hand, so I thought I'd offer my help, you know? <laughs> I already know what's going on thanks to her detailed explanation that I overheard moments ago, so I simply offer my assistance. <laughs> Missing your key, right? Let's see where we... Let's see what we got here. Huh. Looks like I confused her. I tend to do that. <laughs> Maybe I should have stayed out of this. Oh, sorry. I'm not trying to intrude or anything. I swear. I'd, if you don't need any help, just... Uh, oh. Oh my god. She just leaps at you. Oh my god, she did! The girl suddenly leaps in front of me, grasps my hand, and shakes it up and down vigorously. Fear not dear. Uh -huh. <laughs> sure? I mean, maybe I'm just trying to be a good person. <laughs> She must be pretty easy to impress if me offering to help her has this has her this excited, but more importantly, hey, look, uh, okay, well, uh, your hands, you're kind of, you're kind of touching my hand. At that point, she finally shifts her gaze over to her hands, <laughs> and when she does, her face flushes red instantly. <laughs> look at the little blushing. <laughs> God, it's like a little push on me. Oh, she rips her hands away from mine and bows her head a few times. Good lord. <laughs> Look, we don't have. It's fine. After she finishes talking, the girl stands there with her head still bowed and eventually claps her own cheeks. <laughs> Is that supposed to be some form of punishment? I like this girl already. She's 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 definitely a character. Look, you really don't have to apologize. Besides, shouldn't we take care of your your problem first? Her expression changes to one of mild shock as I change the topic. Oh. Oh, I already know. <laughs> the girl tries to explain her predicament to me through a combination of words and gestures. I don't understand. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> oh. Damn. Damn! I spot that at the... <laughs> I spot a silver object glittering in the sunlight roughly a meter behind her. Damn, and that was like right at the edge, too. That would have been bad. <laughs> hmm. It wouldn't happen to be... Grab her head and turn it over to where it is. <laughs> Before the girl can finish her sentence, 
I pass by her and pick up the silver object. Or, yeah. Your house key, right? Does this look like it? I hold out a plain silver key in front of her eyes. <gasps> How'd you find it? <laughs> the girl raises her voice and wraps both her arms around the key, which is still in my hand. <laughs> or not her arms, her hands. I like to think... Oh, my God. Well, when you listen to people monologue, you know, that these things tend to be found out fairly easily. I just happen to see it out the corner of my eye. So it's not really amazing or anything. I should be doing the ums right now. She seems like, uh, she seems like she's asking for my name. My name's Messiah. Messiah Hinata, Hinata. I live just around the corner. I'm a sophomore at Kunahama Academy. Nice to meet you. Damn, I nailed it this time. Normally I fuck up every name ever. Hinata-san, Thank you. I'm Krasina Asuka. See, I'll remember that one. I like Asuka. I like the name. Well, you want to head over there? Like, uh, cool. Nice to meet you, Kurashina san. Hi. Let's go, Kurashina san replies cheerfully. As the saying goes, a good deed is its own reward. You're damn skippy. I get the feeling that I'm forgetting something important here. Hmm. What was I doing? <laughs> I just. And before I manage to remember, oh no, oh, oh, yeah, there it is, I've, the Harbinger of Doom was right. <laughs> A loud ringing sound resounds through the air. Ah, shit! <laughs> Kurashina-san is startled by my loud cry. Now I'm really running late. Oh, oh you're starting today, yeah? I mean, you got stuff to do, but I don't think... I I see. Well, I guess you don't know about Miss Kagami. Uh, <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Aoi Kagami. She's good at all kinds of sports and drop-dead gorgeous, but is also considered to be the scariest teacher at Kuna Kunahama Academy. She's the school's PE teacher and my homeroom teacher, but she's also the guidance counselor. That's why she's out at the gate waiting to see if any students arrive late. So, so and I got bad news for myself. <laughs> Since she's a real strict person, saying you aren't attending classes today won't really cut it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're ever late when she's on duty, a dreadful punishment awaits you. Horrifying, in fact. True punishment. Have you ever seen this punishment so great? Yep, she makes us use all of her connections to dig up embarrassing secrets from, from your past. All of her connections, you know? Any diaries you kept, funny pictures you took, or cringe-worthy videos of you will be all revealed to the entire class. Luckily for me, all of that's all on the internet already. <laughs> Mm hmm Right? And that's why we can't afford to be late. I'm teaching her a valuable lesson. <laughs> I confirm the time by glancing at my phone. 8.25. If we run, we won't make it in time. Honestly, I want to avoid using them as much as possible. Oh, no choice. I'll make an exception today. Oh, am I using my thingies? I whisper that while looking up at the sky. All right. Let's take off from over there, I say as I point at the nearby terminal. Am I, like, planning on, like, carrying her over there, too? <laughs> Kurashina-san tilts her head to the side in confusion as she stares at the terminal. Uh, <laughs> in a plane? Oh, right, you're, you're not from around these parts. Yeah, she's a transfer student. 
Know anything about grav shoes? Grav shoes, huh? That's what they're called? Yeah, anti-gravitation shoes. Since you're wearing our school's uniform, you should have gotten a lecture on how these shoes work. So? Kirshina-san replies while pointing at the school's shoes. Yeah, those. Well, if you got a rundown, I guess I don't need to explain. You taking them out for a spin yet? I don't know how I'd feel about these shoes, because I have a... I have a very, very bad fear of heights. <laughs> so... Hmm, well that's too bad. Well, I'll support you then. Let's go! Uh, hold on! <laughs> Normally you'd take a proper course first, but it should be fine since we're going with p a paired flight. You don't have to worry about anything. I head over to the terminal, leading Kershina-san all the while. <laughs> Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's see. Good, good. Coast is clear. All right. Wait, hold on. So, okay, so we, we step in this area, and then we... All right, I like it. I already like this universe. <laughs> I look around to check the flight path just in case. The no flight lamp is also off. Next up is the shoe check. Kershina san? Hi! <laughs> Put one foot forward a little. Hi! There you go. I check the shoe she puts forward. Alright, looks good. Now show me the other one. <laughs> when she does, I check the other one as well. Alright, you're all good! Take a deep breath for me, Kirishina-san. Inhale. And exhale. I was holding that breath that a little time. All right, time to head on out. And uh, well. Since she's not following the conversation, I take Kershina-san's hand, walk over to the edge of the terminal, and press the open button. After the shutters open, I turn on my own grav shoes. Take a small step forward to widen your stance. Uh, hi. As you can see, I'm an expert at this. But it was all crashed down upon me. <laughs> Next, raise your heels. There we go. You're getting it. And... I'm gonna count to three, and then we fly, okay? Make sure you hold my hand tight, all right? And if, if you do, you can just, just leave everything to me and relax. <laughs> right, let's go. All right, one, two, did she lock her door? <laughs> ah, it's too late for that now. You'll be fine. We can fly. Three, fly! <laughs> god damn it! Oh my god! She's oh. <laughs> fucking freaking her out, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> Hold on, can we? Oh, dude, I would be scared out of my goddamn mind. Like I, I would be her. I would be holding him. Love me. So protect me, save me! <laughs> a soft wind strokes our bodies as we soar through the air. The early summer air is a little warm, making it perfect for a slow flight. <laughs> as long as the shoes are totally working, I don't think we'll be worried about that. Kirshina-san keeps shouting out words laced with desperation. I can tell how anxious she is by the tightness of her grip. It's fine. There's no way we'll fall with our grav shoes on. Plus, the flight path's pretty calm. So, so I'm shouting because we're in the air. Really? So just relax and enjoy our stroll through the sky. Uh, hi. Is it? Can you like? Is it? Can you like just? walk normally but because you got the grav shoes on and they're like you know working and such you it's like you're walking in the sky <laughs> i can feel the pressure on my back letting up as kurashina-san relaxes her body 
Seems she's resigned herself to her, to her fate. I can see buildings, trees, and the deep blue ocean stretching out beneath us. They all look so tiny from up here. <gasps> I'm guessing she's getting used to flying since she lets out a voice of awe as she looks around in wonder. Dude, I would have been decimated. I know, right? Most people react like this on their first flight. The range of freedom. Upon hearing those words, I fly wherever you want. I slowly repeated those words, digesting their meaning. I eagerly dash forward, gliding through the air, advancing further and further. Back then, I had no doubts in my mind. I was sure that there was no one who could reach the same heights as me. No, it's nothing. We'll be landing soon, so get ready! Uh, hi. With these, I can go anywhere. I can be the first to travel beyond the sky. I sincerely believe that. Yeah, I should avoid this from now on. I tried to make sure Kurashina-san didn't hear me. Or couldn't, rather, as I quietly muttered those words. Oh my god. I look up at the sky one last time to say farewell for good before I prepare to land. The blue sky extends infinitely, just as it did when I was a kid. Dude, instead of just doing the visual novel protagonist thing of looking up at the sky, I'm in the sky now. <laughs> This is like Skyception. God, I'm even more ready now. Uh, to the west of Japan's mainland, in the East China Sea, is Shitou City. Or Shitou, however you want to say it. It's a town that's made up of four islands. Its population of 50,000 is enough to get it recognized as a city. But at a glance, it looks more like a rural country village. However, right now the area is like a completely different world from the rest of Japan. That's how special Shitao City is. 
because we have fucking flying shoes that we apparently fight with. <laughs> Following the discovery of anti-gravitation, special shoes that allow an individual to fly. Anti-graviton shoes were invented. Have I been saying anti-gravity shoes this whole time? They're graviton. Jesus. <laughs> and those shoes which let a person fly using their own body brought about the dawn of a new age. The Airport Act applied many restrictions on private flight, but there are still some cities where none of that applies. Special test zones, basically. <laughs> we still gotta get your money from uh, taking planes. <laughs> And one of those cities just happens to be Shatao City. It even has said that... Uh, it's even said that, gra that grav shoe usage is the highest in the country here. People from all generations make use of them here. Though young people probably use them the most. In fact, students tend to use them a lot. They're a common commuting option on all four islands that make up Shatao City. I can imagine. I, I, oh no. Oh god. Oh jeez. Get me in there. Oh, God. I hope I just fly on in. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm not. Oh, hi. I mean, I was going to land, so. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. Making my way. <laughs> Our way, rather. Sweet! We made it! Okay, I'm, I, I guess that's landing, because I'm here at the landing zone. <laughs> I use the Grav Shoes' as assisted landing feature to touch down safely at the school's terminal. Come on, Kurshina san. You can let go of my hand now. Uh, 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 hi. And by hand, I mean my whole body. <laughs> when I point that out, Kurshina san lets go of my hand hesitantly. Since it could have started weird rumors if she kept clinging onto me, I'd previously asked her to switch to just holding my hand. Ah. Good thinking. But even that's enough to get students talking, so it's best to separate now. Uh, do we have to go through the gate, or did we already go through the gate, technically, and just land within the school so we're still good? <laughs> right. Okay, let's hurry to the classroom. Wait, I forgot to ask where you need to go. Oh. Okay, well, I'll see you, uh, I'll see you some other time then. See you around. No problem. No problem. I'll head, I'd head pat you, but it'd be kind of weird right now. Okay, bye. Hiroshina san directs about to me and runs off to the building where the faculty room is located. <sighs> now then, <laughs> shouldn't waste time loitering. Need to head to the classroom before Miss Kagami spots me. Oh, she already did. <laughs> she was like, okay. Didn't, didn't have time. <laughs> sure, I have this stigma now, but hey. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Oh, hey! Even the background characters are, like, highly detailed. What's up with this? See, that's something that I like. Uh, could you all... Sh could you all shut up? <laughs> <sighs> Made it somehow. I plop down onto my seat and breathe a sigh of relief. Ah, yes. Oh, God. Uh, well, first, I would like... You, these background people to stop uh would that be sound effects oh yeah that's sound effects you could you could be like right there like it's like whatever <laughs> that's a little bit too loud in my ears if you know what i mean just had to ask huh <laughs> one of my classmates suddenly appears before me then starts questioning me her name is misaki tobisawa since we sit close to each other and we're in the same class la we were in the same class last year, we ended up chatting a lot. She's the only girl in my class who's on casual speaking terms with me. Anyway, it's pretty common for her to start up random conversations, especially first thing in the morning. 
Gotta say, though, I'm surprised she saw that. I mean, I tried to get away from uh, Kurashina-san as fast as possible. Well, when you... S well, when we're flying specifically, and I'm assuming people can just see us landing, like, that's just a thing. <laughs> Especially two people. <laughs> Good morning, Masaki. You know, you really should at least greet me before you start grilling me. <laughs> that's what I... There, that's how you do. She waves her hand at me with an absent-minded look on her face. Obviously, Masaki has low blood pressure. So, uh, what was that about me holding hands with someone? I try to feign in an ignorance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. She'll never see through my ruse. <laughs> but she ends up ignoring me. Oh. You, you literally just asked me about the girl who was holding my hand. Uh, you got some good eyes there. <laughs> I mean, most people don't just happen to catch a glimpse of things that are so far away. Oh my god, this fucking girl. Are you serious right now? I don't understand. Well, I finally remember. All right, well, I don't have any breakfast in here for you. I'll, I just... <laughs> that's not, 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 or any more breakfast. With how disjointed our conversations tend to be, I can't help but wonder whether she has some actual mental issues. Damn, I mean, low blood pressure can only explain so much. <laughs> I don't know. Low. Oh, oh, Jesus. Low blood pressure can, like, do a lot of things to you. <laughs> Bye. I love you. Uh, <laughs> it's a weird thing to say, but. Misaki totters away towards her desk. I like your shirt with the, with the like, uh, the skeleton and. <laughs> I put my thoughts aside and focus on class. She's good at all kinds of sports and drop dead gorgeous, but is also the scariest teacher at Konohama Academy. This is my homeroom teacher, Aoi Kagami. Alright, by the way, I owe a lot to Aoi san. I, I mean, Miss Kagami. <laughs> and my debt started racking up far before I even joined Kunahama Academy. In fact, it mostly comes from help she provided when I was younger. So yeah, I was obviously pretty shocked when she ended up being my homeroom teacher. <laughs> it's you! You <laughs> I already helped someone, says the person who has a mountain of dirt on her students. <laughs> we're close enough for me to make that kind of joke, though I can't do much more than whisper it since we're in the same class and all. Damn it! I wanted to just say that and then get destroyed. <laughs> if she catches me tongue behind her back, she'll show no mercy. Yeah, home room is Oh, well, guess we leave. <laughs> oh, oh, looks like she didn't notice that I was almost late this morning. A wave of relief washes over me, which allows me to relax. I wouldn't relax yet. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Owie, uh, Miss Kagami doesn't care that we're at school. She always calls me by my first name. What's up? Son of a bitch. Did she hear me back, you know, back there? Or what? Is this about me almost arriving late? Or which one of those did she catch? Oh, hell. All right. Oh, God damn it. Oh, She's, oh now you're hyper? Yeah, I know. 
しようか何食べようか無限の可能性が私を襲うよ I've been feeling some chicken tenders but that I just I love chicken tenders I might have a problem right gotta say though you're a totally different person once we're out of class not that that's anything new just thought I'd say it her extreme mood shifts are making me wonder if she's all right in the head all right are we just <laughs> This poor, since she has low blood pressure in the morning, maybe it spiked and she popped a vessel up there. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the snaggly tooth, as the kids would call it. So you agree with me, huh? <laughs> Drastic changes, man. This girl is our class representative. Madoka Oyagi. Ow, yeah, fuck. <laughs> she's a friend of Misaki, so I end up talking to her a lot. Though, unlike Misaki, she's a normal human being. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like, ah, she's crazy. Let's just... Then quit acting like you are a nut job. Can't blame us for doubting you when it looks like you're a nut job. Yeah. And I appreciate that, but... Oh, really? I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'd say it's more that... More that I'm a free spirit, just being true to myself. Uh, that's that's uh, 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 bye, Misaki. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. What? <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Not doing with that. Oh, what? Oh, 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 I almost bump into a girl as I leave the classroom. Sorry, are you okay? <laughs> Just give it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's just showing us all the characters today. What's going on over here? <laughs> what, what? 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 Whatever. <laughs> Sorry about that. Or uh, oh my god, Arisa Ar Arisaka. Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to just call you by your first name instead. The two of us end up apologizing to one another uh, for a while. I'm guessing you came by to get Masaki. No idea why she's acting like that's only natural. But moving on. Oh, want me to call Masaki? Masaki! Get out here! Hey! Masaki! I call out to Masaki, who's still in the classroom, and tell her that Arisaka's waiting for her. After that. Well, I'm heading out now. <laughs> It's like, my job is done. <laughs> well, I'm not going home just yet. Huh? Don't worry about it. I'll see you later. I walk away, leaving behind a puzzled Arisaka. Okay, bye. Misaki-senpai! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Too late. She's gonna keep going. I literally just told you I'm not going home. <laughs> I don't under... I don't... Oh no. They're gonna start... You guys gonna, like, follow me around? What's going on here? I head over to the faculty room, leaving Misaki and the other two behind. To see, that's not she's Mis Misaki's got the wrong idea. I had the I'm a big doo doo, as the kids would say. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, hello, hello, teachers. Oh God! Right as I enter the faculty room, I see a hand waving me over from Aoi-san's desk in the back left corner. I feel a bit uneasy since I got no clue what she wants, but I head over regardless. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, hey. 
well, I, I'd feel like there would be some circumstances if I didn't actually come right away. Does she pass? She does, in fact, pass the thigh test, though. You gotta... You, I always gotta do the thigh test on anyone, any any lady whose thighs that I see within the visual novels. And she does. So you can see it. Just barely right there. And even, like... Nah, that's, that's... She's in the middle of enjoying an after-work coffee. Sitting there in her chair with her usual lax posture and her threatening visage <laughs> honestly with the way she dresses I'm unsure where to look her milky thighs enter my sight no matter what I do so I'm unable to ignore them dude he knows the thighs it's the new world order <laughs> funny thing is this is actually an improvement she used to wear a mini skirt until the other teachers talked her down <laughs> Maybe one day. What do you want? She brought up something pretty awkward, so I'm just gonna cut to the chase. She knows me, uh, what? She knows me. She shows me a paper that she'd prepared beforehand. Ah, okay. Uh, are you gonna ask me to wait what's it say okay it's, on the left is a photo and the right name and address uh, and on uh, and and wait what on the left is a photo and on the right is a name and address god damn it <laughs> beneath that I can see a breakdown of academic accomplishments and list of references I recognize the name and face instantly why wouldn't I when it's still fresh in my mind? My, 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 my memories. <laughs> this is. Aoi san speaks up, a wide grin on her face as I sit there in silence. How does she know that I know her? I'm tell. She was watching! Don't tell me. Wait, don't tell me you saw us together this morning. <laughs> That'd be amazing. She's like. I didn't, but now I do. <laughs> but we know she did. She returns a hearty nod before she replies. Well, I'm not gonna just drop her while we're flying. Seriously? Didn't even realize she was watching us. Aoi san isn't the kind of person who has any problem with students dating, but she's also famous for chewing out anyone who's fooling around. <sighs> So what about Kirishina-san? I quickly changed the topic, which makes her don an odd motherly expression. Uh-huh. A favor? It better be, because I'm not ready to do any hard things yet. <laughs> she snickers, picks up her coffee mug, and takes a sip out of it. I'm getting deja vu here. <laughs> Oh, I see. It's not just deja vu. She said those exact same words to me in the distant past. Oh. oh. So, yeah. This seems like I'll be your instructor. Again. <laughs> my name, uh, rather, again, my name is Messiah Hinata. Huh? Aha! <laughs> It's been about 10 minutes since my conversation with Aoi-san. After we finished talking, I headed over to the courtyard and approached Kirishina-san, who well, had been waiting for me. <laughs> Funny how the world works. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised too. You want me to teach her how to fly? <laughs> you know I don't do that anymore. Well, that is a simple favor. She wants me to teach Kirishina-san, who is unfamiliar with grav shoes, how to fly. In urban cities, the use of grav shoes comes with certain limitations. For example, you can only use them at certain times, and you need to get licenses. But here, a simple application is more than enough, dude. <laughs> As such, grav shoes are a dime a dozen here. Everyone knows how to use them, and they all rely on them too. However, shoes that allow you to fly in 
f flight itself are probably confusing for outsiders. That's why the authorities that hand out grab shoe licenses put some precautions in place. No, I can't do it. <laughs> well, you're probably right, but... <sighs> you got me there, I guess. Uh, Miss Kagami? No, of course not. It's... Well, I sure don't, but... <laughs> and it's settled. <laughs> what they established is the limited area flight instructor system. Basically, it's a system where certified individuals teach beginners how to fly. And I'm one of those people. I earned my stripes a pretty long time ago, too. So it's like a... So it's like a thing that I always have. Like I'm always certified since I got I pat like did my certification. Or <laughs> like I don't have to get it renewed ever. <laughs> Kirshina san says with sparkling eyes. I wouldn't really say I'm an expert. I'm I'm more just used to it, really. I answer curtly, to which she replies. God, why is she playing me up? I hope she didn't tell her anything unnecessary. Very. A necessity, in fact. Oh, she bows to me after saying that, then continues. I appreciate the spunk. Good girl. Let's go. Let's fight. Wait, fight? I mean, let's train. <laughs> I will show you the way of the grab shoes. <laughs> sure, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do what I can. Man, she sure is motivated. Well, it's way easier to teach someone with motivation than someone who has zero interest. So I can't really complain. Anyway, it makes sense that Kirshina sons here, but... Ooh, I spin around and heave a sigh in an exaggerated fashion. <sighs> What's your reason? I get it, Misaki. Uh, but how about you, Arisaka? Fucking <laughs> bad. He's already done. He's exasperated. Listen. I'm only doing this because Miss Kagami asked me to. I'm telling off the people who've come to interrupt us when... They're a bunch of weirdos. Don't concern yourself with them. Kirshina-san asked me about them with a puzzled expression. Ignore them. They really aren't worth your time. Eh? <laughs> I love the self-introduction, but I just grab her face and just push her away. The servant. <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus. Girls, shut, 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 look! Now you got her all confused! At least try not to speak over each other, you fucks! Oh my god. <sighs> Fucking god damn it. Well, I guess I, I wanna, I wanna save the, uh, t the basics of grab shoes for next time. I'm really liking this already. I like, I like the little, the addition to the grab shoes. I like the... I like the universe. I like the characters already. This is an A plus. Of, this is an a plus for me. <laughs> Can't wait to continue on though. <laughs> the excitement levels are great.